Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at the latest revision of the Hello Atom from KBD Craft. Now this one allows us to extend the normal 60% footprint and have a numpad internally connected. Um, they recently released uh, the numpad but it required a separate USB connector. This one is the updated version, which allows you to connect it internally. And you can choose, because it is a Lego-based Lego based board, you can choose to have the numpad on the right or the numpad on the left. Having two kids through Southpaw, I really appreciate this, because finding Southpaw keyboards is not too easy, and when you do find them, they're usually priced much more expensive than your average keyboard um, though I think they should honestly be more popular just like left-handed scissors but that's neither here nor there today we're going to go ahead and put this together um, I don't believe they included uh, keycaps and switches so I'll be picking out some switches and keycaps uh, to try it out see how it sounds with some different ones but I've been very happy with the two previous versions that I've built. So let's go ahead and check out first what we have in the box. First things first, we've got our instruction manual, which is obviously extremely important for doing this. And we can see how on this one, we've got the regular right-hand side um, numpad. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna build it at first right now. I'll come back to it. And I do plan to do mods on all of them. Now that I have three different ones, I can do some different mods for each one and try to get a different sound profile. So I'll probably switch it over to the left side on the next one. There's always a little Lego man included, which um, or a little Lego toy. I don't necessarily know what this is. Um, it's interesting. It's got some faces that swivel, kind of like a, a three-faced. I don't know. I don't know if this is to it or not. I'll have to see. Um, but I still keep my other little guys. Um, they stay right here with me from my previous uh, KBD Craft Atoms. So I got a little gang going on. So here we have the bags. We have A and B, which is part of the case. And then N, which is part of the Atoms numpad. We have our flat bases here. We have the PCB, and we have some feet as well as some gaskets. Yep. And this here is the internal connector for the numpad. So this is a interesting, a 60% with a numpad. Well, it is a 64 key, 60%, so you got the arrow keys as well. You see that we have everything here. We're not going to need any of this stuff for a moment. So let's go ahead and see these pieces here. And get to the instructions and see where we start at. All right. So now we can go to the next part. Now we need, and then this one's join these together. All right, we're done for the day. Oh. <laughs> On to step three. All right, so we've got the eight pieces here. Try to make sure that they're all well connected after each step so we don't have any gaps in there later on. On to step five. It looks like now we will need the gaskets. And 
I actually think that the uh, gasket implementation, this is pretty nice. They're not super flexy. Uh, what I've found, it's usually easier to pull out the circles ahead of time because they are sticky as well. Oh, these are actually punctured. Oh, okay. Cool. It makes it much easier to just take out the, the punch holes first. All right, now that we have all the holes punched out, it's gonna be a lot easier. We can just power on through. And the biggest thing with this is you wanna get them as straight as possible, but it's nice because the holes kinda of just act as a guide to make sure that they're nicely lined up. I prefer to use tweezers to try to eliminate taking any of the adhesive off by accident. All right, so now we've got the gaskets on there we are ready for the next step. All right, so I've gone ahead and rebuilt the core um, as the one that I had taken apart was the first revision and it did not have the JST connectors, which we're gonna be using here. Plug in the JST connector here and then on the numpad. So we're doing a diamond. So that means we wanna connect it here. All right, since we have a dot over here, no diamond over here, and this was the diamond, that one's a dot or the circle, so I'm gonna guess it's this side is the right side. So keeping this together and making sure not to hurt the cable or the JST connector, I'll lay this one down right there, and then tuck that cable in. And get this in. All right, so that fits nicely in. Sounds lovely. I love how this keyboard sounds soft. And I mean, it has no foams. It just, it just sounds good. All right, so oh, I don't want to be throwing any pieces. All right, now there's one thing that I, I must note if you are. Uh, using the numpad uh, there's instructions on the back page uh, basically you're going to um, hold the num lock down um, for the uh, so you probably want to do this while it's connected um, not connected to this I don't know how it would work but I would do it separately so yeah plug out oh with the plug out so nothing plugged into it you press and you hold the first bu button in the number uh, the numpad uh, while still holding in plugging the cable and it appears as a flash drive on your computer and at that point you just want to copy over um, the firmware file uh, which it shows right here and this, the link is on the KBD craft store and then you drag it over and it uploads the or reflashes the firmware so that's the easiest I wish all firmwares were like that um, but so we, uh, we will have to go through the process with this, but for right now, we're gonna go ahead and finish building this because I am kinda anxious to use my 60% with arrows and a numpad because it's a nice setup. <laughs> I, I gotta say, I like it. Uh, I do like it. I love how it sounds. I mean, come on, that's good. These fours go between these spaces. Corner. And this one. Then two. All right. 
right, we are almost done. All right, and these, how do these go? It's a longer one. All right, so not only do we have some spare parts, these are if you're gonna just build it in the regular 60%, so that's why we got those. I got some extra Lego pieces, because now I can come back and actually do some customization. And here we are with the Atom 0110B merging kit. It comes with the Atom's numpad and the regular, or the updated, because the one that I have in the gray one the last one that I built did have the JST connectors, but the PCB that I just took out, this was the very first revision, I think it might have even been a prototype, that did not have the um, JST connectors. And you can tell, obviously, because they don't have the JST connectors, and this one has a reset button, whereas this one doesn't. But I gotta say, well, I love the color, because retro, but I love that it has everything I need now granted yeah I mean it's got it's got my delete it's got my page up and down it's got home um, got my insert got a full zero um, got my arrow keys and that sounds great now it does help to raise this up a little bit um, it does come with feet I did not attach them yet as I actually now that I have these extra pieces I might just build feet to give it an angle but um actually i've been thinking of like actually 3d printing um like a bracket that would hook onto it and allow me to do the angles but i i've only sketched it out i haven't even tried to open it in a 3d program yet because i know once i start it i'll probably do it until i get it right so i'll be spending a couple of three days printing stuff anyway uh this is truly a modular keyboard I mean, <laughs> he started with this, then he added that. Now they're interconnected. Now that it's connected to this, I am gonna have to go through the um, the upgrade process. If you guys want for me to do it and show you guys how to do it, let me know. Um, but like I said, it's just not having it plugged in, having the number lock pressed. You plug it in, it should show up as a USB drive, a flash drive on your computer, and then you drag over the file that you download from the link that, uh, from the URL that's in the user manual. So, I love this keyboard, I really do, and I'm honestly looking forward, because I know that this, he, boy, you plans many iterations of this keyboard, and he has a lot of good ideas for this, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I Anytime a package from him comes, I'm like, ooh, because it is. It's fun. I am actually, I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, bare bone kit I'm building, but I'm really just, you know, putting it switches and keycaps. Here I'm having, you know, having to put a little bit more thought in. Um, and it's just, I don't know, for me it's therapeutic. If you enjoy Lego and you enjoy mechanical keyboards, I mean, this is just, especially at the price that he sells it for, it's a steal in my opinion. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions about this keyboard, please feel free to just drop comments down below. Um, I'll put a link to the first two builds that I did in the description. So you guys, if you have any questions about putting the cord together, but I mean, you really just have the plate, the uh, foam between the plate and the PCB, and then you use the switches as anchors and you just pop them in from there. But. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of the latest Atom 001B. Um, I think it sounds uh, pretty good uh, in its stock form, but I still I do have to come back to it. But now that I have two, um, so I'm tempted to do something with this PCB. I, I, I'll see about that. I'm going to do something with that PCB. But at least I have this one, I have the gray one, and I can start to uh, do some modding and do some comparisons between the two because I don't think it needs foam, but what will the foam do if I put some light foam down there and maybe some switch pads, PE foam, PET. I mean, there's 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 some mods that could be done.
but I am going to go ahead and put this, well, once I update the firmware, I'm going to use it as my daily driver for a bit. It's actually got some nice weight to it, too. Um, yeah, no, I, I just... I mean, it'd be one thing if it was just Legos and you put it together and I'm saying, yeah, not a great keyboard. I want to just put it up for display. But it, no, it's a good keyboard. It's fun to build and it looks good, in my opinion. Like I said, the retro, it's got just a lot of elements that make me. Keyboards are not toys, but we grow up. Some of us like these. I mean, they're, they're not toys, it's a hobby, but I don't know. It just makes me feel like a big kid. And uh, not too much, not too many things make me feel like a big kid nowadays. My age is definitely wearing on me. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with the stock sound test of the latest Atom Lego keyboard. I'd love to hear your comments below. If you got any questions, any ideas for what you'd like to see me do when I come back to mod it, um, I definitely plan to install some uh, PCB screw and stabilizers as the PCB has a hold for as the holes for it uh, though the PCB the stabilizers on there are fine honestly so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on